Hello everyone, my name is Brew Crick, and you can always call me Brew. Welcome back to Star Citizen. We have a jam packed video for you today. We're here at the city of Lorville, hovering over it in our alien ship on the planet of Hurston. Because we've gone ship crazy, we're going to buy another ship with in game credits, and it's a little bit stealthy and it's a little bit deadly. So come on, let's go down to the planet, let's buy this ship, and trust me, you are in for such a treat with this episode. We're exploring stealth mechanics, and we're buying the Eclipse Stealth Bomber. Size 9 torpedoes, baby. Here we go. Hello, everyone. It's me, Future Brew. And, oh, why, thank you. No, I haven't lost weight. I've just died. A lot died again and again and again making this video for you and I wanted to travel back in time before you carry on to tell you as far as I can tell stealth is broken everything I'm about to tell you for the next few minutes is well it turns out to be kind of wrong <laughs> uh, if you have any updates for me on how stealth is working at the minute let me know but if you want to see how you can use the Eclipse in 3.16.1 uh, to some effect, it's a crazy mechanic. We don't use stealth at all. Jump to the last chapter of this video and join me as we use the Eclipse in a way oh, it was never meant to be used. But saying that, if you want to see how I ended up like this, a few hundred pounds, lighter and armorless, and borrowing my cousin's helmet. Well, continue watching, and I'll see you in the future. What's that? Marty! We've got to get to 88 miles an hour! Marty! I'm coming! No! So, here we are at Tessa Spaceport on Lorville, on the planet of Hurston. We've just taken our lovely car to all from Port Olisar and approached and landed at the planet. Because as I said... We're buying a stealth bomber. Do you hear that? Do you hear that noise? He doesn't, but do you? No, of course you don't. Because a size 9 torpedo has come out of nowhere and blasted you! And that's what we're going to be doing today. Stealth mechanics, stealth bombers, torpedoes, the whole works. And can we dogfight in an eclipse? Hmm. We'll give it a go. This guy doesn't really seem that interested. Anyway, let's get started. If you've just gotten out of the elevators and don't know where to buy ships on Lorville, let me show you. Run out of the elevators like this. You can rent certain ships here, but we're going to hang a right. And there are the terminals where you can summon your ships in. We're going to hang another right. And we're looking for new deals here. And if we, oh, if we look up, new deal. That's the name of the ship shop that we're going to today. And you can run either side of this little sign walk over the bridge here and you can actually have a look at some ships there's the hammerhead which we <laughs> were saving up for we were saving up for a lot of big ships but i've gone a bit ship crazy and started buying ships left right and center so the alien ship uh, uh a few episodes ago and now the beautiful stealth bomber that is the eclipse so aegis and stealth bomber the aegis eclipse 3.5 million bucks this makes no difference Oh, I'm not going to get much sleep to try and earn the money back. But look, oh, yeah, oh, 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 let's just buy the damn thing. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm not regretting that price point. But yes, 3.5 million AUEC. Watch my VHRT videos. Even if you have a starter ship, you could own this ship in uh, about three weeks or so, depending upon your playtime. But that works out at roughly... Uh, an hour and a half to two hours each evening, and then a good playthrough on one of the weekend days or evenings. So, yes, three and a half million, three weeks, you could own this. But it's a very specialist ship. Very specialist. It does one thing. And if the game is a bit bust with torpedoes and missiles and targeting, or if there's a glitch or an asteroid gets in the way, you're going to be cheesed off. You'll see that, possibly, in today's video. Okay, just right away, I am loving the cockpit. It is very cool. Lots of buttons. We have an ejection seat. We can open the canopy. We have four MFDs. Can't really see that far one very well. All these switches up here. 
Yeah, the canopy looks and feels nice. And it's... It looks... <laughs> fantastic. Oh, up we go. I hope the uh, roof is up. I think it is. There we go. Yeah, the roof is open. Let's, let's uh, bring in... <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it accelerates nicely. Oh my. Oh, it accelerates nicely. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we'll do a walk around in just a second, but yes, it accelerates very nicely. A v oh, it's expensive, but 3.5 million. Look at this thing, uh, powered engines. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it feels nice. I'm going to take it down to the deck so we can do a quick walk around. But this is another reason why you do not want to take this thing out stock is look at its sort of hit profile on top. So how chunky it is from this perspective. It's quite wide and flat, so it's gonna soak up bullets. Uh, if an enemy fighter is looking at us like this as we're banking around, they're gonna land the shots into us. If they're looking at us head on, we're a lot harder to hit. So that's not too bad, but the minute that we start to bank, and then they come around and look at us from this angle, we're quite a big target. Nice. So those are those are Badger laser repeaters. They used to be ballistic, so they swapped those out. 125 rounds, size twos. They are not gimbals, so they're fixed. That's them under there. Nice, I like that. Let's bring it up a bit so we don't smack into the ground. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I like that, I like that. Uh, do they go back in when we turn off our weapons? No. Some some ships have like the weapons um, revealing themselves in compartments on the ship. All right. Should we land it quickly and do a, a brief walk around? Stops well. Seems to stop well. Well, it wasn't too bad, especially in atmosphere. Uh, let's take a look at the landing gear. Yeah, the wings fold up. It's quite nice. All right. Probably not the best place to do a walk around with the weather, but you can't choose the weather. And we're losing light, so let's bring this thing down. Oh, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. And scroll in. There we go. Beautiful ship. Beautiful ship. Absolutely stunning ship. Well worth the money for looks alone, in my opinion. Now we're getting out of it. Oh my goodness. It's the tension to detail I love about all ships in Star Citizen. I just hope the wind doesn't blow it away. Oh. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's, just, it's a stealth bomber. I used to love stealth bombers as a kid. You know, just the... Uh, you just have the wee models and things like that. This is a space stealth bomber. What's there not to love? Uh, I don't think there's any particular, like, whoops, storage or anything like that. It is, again, designed for one purpose. Uh, under here, in this little compartment, is something we're going to look at in a little bit. Yes. Um, these are vents. I don't even know if you can get to the components on this ship. I haven't done much of a walk around whenever I had it myself. Because we're just too busy <laughs> blowing things up, which hopefully we're going to be able to do shortly. You might have to get on top to get access to some of the components. But I recently discovered that the Gladius actually has a storage bay. When we do the full walkthrough of it, as opposed to just a VHRT video, we'll be able to see that. It might be on top. There you go. The Eclipse. An absolute beast. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it into space. And I'm going to talk to you about uh, stealth mechanics. See you in a moment.
Okay, welcome back everyone. We are in space. We are in the Aegis Eclipse and we're just doing a quick test of its top speed, which is 980 meters per second. So it's going to get caught up by a lot of the fighters. Hence why, again, I don't think it's a dogfighting ship. I don't think you're going to buy it for that reason. But we will try it. Okay, let's jump and test its quantum fuel, or let's have a look at its quantum range. In theory, we're going to want to test out the stealth and do the only real bounty missions this thing is designed for at the minute, the extreme risk target bounties over in Crusader. And the reason for that is simply this. Bounty missions around Hurston, around these moons, have space debris. And that could get in the way of our torpedoes. So my advice is, do bounty hunting around Crusader. And the Quantum Tank looks like it can do the Crusader um, Hurston trip. No problem at all. Looks like it could maybe do it twice. So I'll come back to you and we'll time how long it takes to do this standard cross-system trip. All right, folks. I will see you shortly. Okay, everyone, we just did the Hurston to Crusader run in 4 minutes and 35 seconds. That's 4 minutes and 35 seconds. Not too shabby at all, but I am entering Crusader's atmosphere, which is something I do not want to do. Because I had full cruise control on, so let's get out of there. And let's just jump briefly to somewhere. So everybody, a very good quantum time to get across the system. And if we have a look at the tank, we still have a good chunk left. About a smidge over 50%. And just while we're here, let's look at some acceleration tests. So from a standing start, we'll boost forward. And although the top speed is not massive, we get up to that 900 and 80 very quickly with boost on and power is yes to engines let's see how quickly it stops with zero boost slow which is about you know accurate for most uh, most ships those reverse engines don't seem to be too powerful very slow start uh, stopping if we apply boost good bit quicker doesn't take a lot of boost either so that's good to see Excellent. If we do a flip, so back up to full speed, power is still on engines. No boost. Let's flip the nose. And release the... And the reverse stopping... Not much better, really. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, actually. I'm burning all my hydrogen fuel doing these maneuvers. And then same again, but reverse or flip 180 to go to a stop with boost. So we're up there at max speed now. And letting go and flipping and holding boost down. And now we're now facing the direction. And yeah, stopping nice and quick, which is good. Okay. So, maneuverability. Rolls quite nice. Is there much overroll? Smidge of overrolling, you know, following through after your finger is off the uh, key. So this is rolling Q and then I let go. Rolling Q and then let go. Rolling Q and off. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of overroll, but not a lot. Uh, bank's quite nice. Uh, as in pitching, yaws. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Feels okay. Feels okay to fly. And looks absolutely bloody amazing. Okay. Now we're going to talk about stealth. Now we're going to talk about stealth. Let's let's jump over to Yella uh, and talk about stealth, shall we? All right, everybody. Welcome to Yella, the asteroid belt that houses many a pirate. And we're going to talk about the stealth mechanics. Massive, massive caveat. I have flown the ship two years ago. Stealth continues to change, and it will change again. 
and I've only got my research from other content creators. This isn't anything that I've seen official from CIG. The research I did and the information those content creators gave me was accurate and did work. We will be doing detailed tests when I can get another pilot to help me out. But we'll try some theory tests today with Stealth. So how does Stealth work? All right, Stealth 101. If you know how it works, well, you might want to stick around and correct me in any mistakes I make. Uh, feel free to jump to the next chapter where we actually try and blow some stuff up with this ship. All right, Stealth. I've sat forward in my chair. <clears throat> okay, we're going to need our MFDs for this, so let me roll and put us into the, uh, the sun on our belly here. All right. MFDs, I usually talk about MFDs in, um, you know, like the build and like what all you want on your screen. Again, for an Eclipse, you don't really need an awful lot. So what we're going to want to pay attention to is, and you can have it in this screen here, where you can see the EM and IR, but I recommend changing this if it'll let you. That's a new bug. Uh... Oh, it's the whole interacting with these buttons getting in the way. Right, so if you can't click that menu screen, if it turns like that, I often find holding F on your keyboard and moving your mouse quickly allows you to do it. Come on. If that doesn't work, because again, this is the first time I've been in the ship in a long time, so it's trying to click the buttons that are down here. These buttons is what it's trying to click, but I'm nowhere near that. You see that? That's so frustrating. Um, another uh, trick to get around that is hold F and hit Q on your, uh, no, not Q, A on your keyboard. That's still not working. My God, that's so bad. Come on, CIG, sort that out. That's frustrating. Like, so what, I can't change an MFD? Terrible. All right. Luckily, it doesn't hamper, so we can still see our shields. We can still see our EM and IR. We can still see our target status, but we do need to change one of these. So let's change this middle one down here to power. So that's what you want to be on, power. Okay. How does stealth work? <clears throat> this is as I understand it. EM and IR are the key numbers. Translate those numbers into meters. All right. So at the minute, the EM is at 5,798 meters and the IR is 4,197 meters. Whichever number is higher is the range at which you will be detected and targetable. All right? So in theory, if we were 5,799 meters away, in theory, the NPCs should not react to our presence, should not see us on the radar, and the same for human players. Of course, they could physically see, you know, your, your dot or whatever, you see your ship, if they contrast you against, you know, a planet uh, like this. Okay. Lock the stick because I'm rolling all over the place. EMIR. And our EM has gone up because of engine activity. Okay. The other thing to think about stealth is that the scanning, the ping. As I understood it, if someone scans you, like that pings the area, this EM gets noticed twice as far away. So if they ping you, you now need to be double this number. And my maths is terrible. So what's double of, uh, say double of 6,000 meters, I'll round it up. You need to be 12,000 meters or more if they ping the area. Now NPCs, as last I played, do not ping or scan. Okay, so we shouldn't have to worry about this too much. Our torpedoes, and we're going to talk about torpedoes in detail in just a minute. Our torpedoes can fire from a long way away. But this is lovely Star Citizen. And there are bugs. <laughs> oh no, features, sorry, features. So I found the best use of torpedoes is to get as close as possible so they can't go a bit wacky. They're terrible at tracking. So if things are flying about, if they've... If, if something has aggroed to you, especially if it's a small fighter, your torpedoes aren't going to hit them. But you should not be using torpedoes on small fighters. We might try a little bit in this video. Plus, you shouldn't be using them on small fighters. Big ships, 
the hammerhead is what we're going to take on. Or correction, murder from stealth. So that's stealth in a nutshell. You want to be as far away from the target or get just as close, just above that number to your target and you should be radar invisible. We can lower that number considerably. You've seen the stealth button probably an awful lot. Watch what happens when we click it. Our power drops down a little bit. And they've balled stealth up. <laughs> what happened in the old days is when you hit stealth, your EM and IR drop massively. Let me let me reset my power triangle. Oh, have they balls that up? Because this ship can get down to like 2,000 DMIR. I've done that in the past. They've changed it. Or they've they've removed that stealth mechanic. Don't worry. There's more things we can do. They're a little bit scary. I want you to hit P on your keyboard. P for Peter. And that's going to turn off your weapons. P. Weapon systems now let's have a look. Look at the EM start to drop. The IR is not moving a lot. I don't like that. Didn't drop by an awful lot. So they have, unless my ship's bugged out or something. Ah, okay. So now we can drop our EM manually. And that raises it. You're a demon stealthing through. Silently, like a leaf on the wind through the asteroid belts. So I'm going to do something a little bit scary. We've turned our weapons off, right? And we've got our EM dropping. We've hit the stealth button that just decides it doesn't want to work anymore. Next thing we're going to do is hit O on your keyboard. O for uh-oh. It turns your shields offline. Our EM plummets. Our IR should be lower than that. And what will happen is your IR decreases slowly over time the longer you're in the belt or in space. All right, so that number is going to hopefully drop lower and lower. So that's the theory of stealth. Let's try it out. And why not try it out with a big money maker? So, bounty hunting. Uh typical. <laughs> there is no ERTs. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to make a video here, CIG Star Citizen. Come on. So this is a real cool... Oh, there you go. ERT. Well, I'm picking up the ERT. Are you kidding me? ERT, where is it? Uh... It's not in an atmosphere. That's fine. Oh, the map. Star Citizen. I'm trying to show these guys the awesomeness of the Eclipse. You're not making it easy. All right, so 5,000 meters is our safe bet. Now, as we use our engines, we're okay. Nothing's increasing. That's good. Our shields are down, so we cannot hit anything. So, tab to scan talked about this before when we're doing uh, missions now I said don't do it in Hurston because of the debris you've got mis uh, missiles you've got asteroids here so you have to be very careful with that debris now as a stealth bomber we're going to ignore every other target for now we'll do a bit of dogfighting uh, after we make this kill but we need to find our target. You see where the IR is still dropping, which is good. So in theory, we probably could have shields on. But really, if you get caught in this thing at all, you're minced. Do not probably see the way I was pinging? Don't ping. You know why I said ping? Actually ignore that. Do not ping because that raises that, that lights you up as a target as well. Uh, we haven't been locked on radar yet. They can't see us yet, I don't believe. If they can't see us, that's my fault because I pinged. So do not ping. Do not ping. Do not ping. Just watch out for the asteroids yourself. Now, if we have a target bug, this is over. We're going to have to bug out. Using boost to slow down. Now, that noise means we've probably been radar locked, which means we're kind of screwed. 
I'll tell you how we know. I know they're not coming for me. See the speed? That means they're not moving. See zero MS? Zero MS. So it's a Valkyrie. That's a Warden. No Hurricanes, which is good, but I still can't see the target. Who goes Salazar? Now, we're too close. We're way too close. That's my bad. We might have been spotted. Yeah, we've been spotted. And we do have the target bug, so I can't lock on. And they found us. See the way they're moving? See the, the MS numbers? We've been spotted. So we need to bug out. Uh, turn on shields by hitting O. Boost down. So that was my bad. <laughs> Take two. I was moving way too quickly into the belt. But that wouldn't have worked anyway. Because with the targeting bug with the hammerhead. It, it wasn't going to let us target it. Which is something we need to bear in mind with at the minute. So, oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. But we need to drop this bounty, I'm afraid. Uh, accepted. But this is the reality. I, I want to show you what is happening at the minute in 316.1 if you're going to buy the ship and if you're going to take it out and what new mistakes one can make as I have made um I wonder can we try and kill it for a laugh <laughs> I want to get us blown up here and then I'm going to have to go all the way back to microtech but what's that is that that's the Valkyrie oh yeah I can't lock on to yeah never mind never mind I forgot I forgot within those two seconds that I, we weren't able to lock on um, to the hammerhead. Uh, I'll do uh, dogfighting in a minute. I'm not going to do it just yet because I want to show you the torpedo play. What did we learn from that? Well, that brew is a noob. But we also learned do not go into full speed towards a target because we, we hit under. Uh, we got uh, under that 4,000 200 meters and they all saw us and they all came running at us so i really hope our primary target is going to have the ability to be locked because if it's not this ship is pointless because you need to be able to lock onto your target to fire missiles there we go okay so i'm putting the speed limiter down uh it is a warden i kind of wanted it to be a hurricane because i hate hurricanes we all hate hurricanes um Now, they have meters per second there, but they shouldn't know we're here, because we're well under. What's our... Our EM is 5,300 meters, so shields off. Shields offline. There we go. So our IR is, say, 4,100. There's the target. Are there any rocks in the way? No, but it is moving. See, this is the problem. If they're moving... Torpedoes don't do good at tracking whatsoever. So I want to show you something cool. We're going to move in. Hit Alt-C to decouple. And now we're firing no engines at all. There's a bit of an engine trail, but we're not using engines. Right. Uh, Alt-C again to take off decoupled mode. Slow down. Slow down. That means they've target locked. How have they target locked? They can't see us. So is stealth broken in 316.1? They should not be able to see us at this range. 4,000 meters. I'm going to try a quick hip fire uh, missile lock because. And this is another problem I was having. They can see us. Shields up. Deploy countermeasures. I'm sorry, guys. That's bullshit. <laughs> There's brew floating in space. That's bullshit. That's BS. So, what? Is stealth broken? There's no way they saw us. There's no way they saw us. I didn't ping. I was following all the stealth rules. All right, everyone. We have spawned back at our home system of Microtech, and we're going to try this one more time. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong, but I did not think those targets should be able to see us at all at that range. 10 kilometers they target locked on. Unless the default is now double, so it's double your highest IR EM value, I don't know. Please, if you know what's going on here, if I'm doing something wrong, tell me. But at the minute, as far as I understand stealth to work, it's a bit broken. So, uh, let's see. Let's do, and this is a terrible place to do an ERT, because they're all atmospheric around Microtech. But we, maybe we'll have some luck. So, let's approach... Um, this ERT bounty, 
Uh, let's go into stealth mode and stuff, but I'm going to keep my shields up. I'm going to keep all that up because a missile absolutely tore through us in that last fight, even deploying decoys. Um, and if it doesn't work, we'll, <laughs> we'll try and dogfight. Uh, Xeno Threat has just started, so we might take this in for a laugh and I'll have some bonus, uh, bonus footage. But don't worry, don't despair, those of you who have an Eclipse. You've made a great choice. It is an amazing ship. It looks great. And maybe for a patch or two, it may not be the best if stealth isn't working as intended. But when stealth does, this thing is going to be so specialist. And it's a lovely ship for you to take out every now and again. And should be a good money earner as you're sniping um, hammerheads. Even though you've only got three torpedoes. We didn't really talk much about the torpedoes. You've got three of them. I tried to fire one off there in the uh, in the <laughs> in the last fight. I don't think it popped because we didn't get any rewards or anything. I didn't think it, it hit the target because the targets need to be standing still. Um, the three types of torpedoes, the default torpedoes are pretty good. Uh, you can shoot them within a thousand meters. It's really cool when you open the bay. Oh, I hate I hate the planets around or the moons around Microtech. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I'm going to put us into stealth mode. Uh, power. Where's the power? Power. Stealth mode. Get that EM down. And the target's moving. A moving target a torpedo does not like. But let me show you something cool. I can't even show you because it's too dark. Oh my goodness. We're not having a good night tonight. I'll show you. I'll 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 <laughs> I'll take it out somewhere else. But uh, middle mouse wheel in. The torpedoes technically got a range of fifty kilometers. Look to the right hand side. But I don't think, and we're twenty three out. This is not how I would normally use these, especially because I think there's drop in atmosphere. So I'll pitch up a little bit, and we'll fire. We'll see what happens. See the way it's dropping? Because we're in atmosphere. Bye bye, torpedo. And they aren't they aren't cheap to restock. So I think we're gonna to need to get closer. Which means they could detect us again. Uh, our EM's at six thousand, so let's try and get to ten thousand kilometers. I'm keeping my shields up this time. <laughs> I'm keeping my weapons on. This. Well, the weapons won't make any difference. I'll turn them off. Because two size twos ain't going to do nothing to a hammerhead uh, until we get a lot of rounds in. So let's get close to 10 kilometers. 10,000 meters. We've just lost a torpedo. Because of the atmospheric drop. Now I did take out a hammerhead with a torpedo in a retaliator. But we were able to get a lot closer. What's our EM? EM's dropping, that's fine. Now, normally it's around 10 kilometers that they would normally start locking on. Um, you know, if I was in other ships, they would start, like, traveling towards us. They haven't at the minute. Let's try another torpedo. Now, this one drops away. We're just going to try and get close to follow the rules of... Uh, the rules of stealth here, as I understand them. Missile lock, we're fully locked. Wait for it. It says we're fully locked. Now I'm going to aim the nose up a little bit. Okay, here we go. And firing. That's looking a bit better. Nope. It's come. Completely. Has it? It's missed, guys. So. Looks like something has actually tried to shoot it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> again, if I'm doing something wrong, tell me. But this is. You know, atmospheric is not good. So. And our EM is increasing because we're using boost and stuff. The EM used to be a lot easier to read than this because I can't change that damn MFD. Hang on. Come on. Power. There we go. Finally. 6,000 meters for 9,000 out. What are the other targets at? 
I'm turning those weapons off. I don't know if that turns the missiles off. It might do, actually. So they're 9 and 8. Can't get much closer than this. Just keeping an eye. I'm just sorry. I'm being quiet because I'm just, I'm just looking at that EM count at the bottom of my screen. See, the hear that beep, beep, beep. That means something's locked onto us. We've got a radar lock. See, they're reacting now. So we're going to try a pot shot. I'm going to go in close with the... I'm going to go in close with the torpedo. Screw it. I'm going to absolutely zoom up to it. Let's see if this is a tactic. I'm going to go right up to it. I'm going to power the engines. I've got my shields up. I think. Yeah, I do. I'm going to slow down. I can shoot this within 1,000 meters. This is stupid. He's going to have target. He's going to have weapons range at 1,800 meters. I need to stop him. I need to get a nice smooth launch here. He's strafing. I don't want him to strafe. This is ridiculous, firing a torpedo in this way. I'm gonna get shot at from his escorts. I need to stop, I need to stop so it launches cleanly. Firing! No, he deployed flares. The whole point of the ship is to be able to stealth in. Oh my goodness. Uh, power, <laughs> power factor weapons. All right, well, we'll try some dog fighting in it, I suppose. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we'll go and rearm because I want to show you how much the torpedoes take to rearm. We'll try. Uh, like, again, you're not meant to really do it in that atmosphere, I don't think. Uh, what's this? This is a. I don't even have anything set up correctly, so I'm going to get my shields back on up here. And of course, that MFD was a monster to try and uh, try and do anything with. Fire back to weapons. I don't know if we're getting hit or not. We are. Sorry, guys. We're going to have to bug out because uh, this is atmos atmospheric. Uh, uh, dog fighting. It's not, it's, you know, and we don't have an MFD set up. I can't change this MFD because there's that bug with the click. I'm not having a good time in the Eclipse. It is an awesome ship. I said, I stick by what I said when we came into this belt. It will have its place, but at the minute, you know, torpedoes are not, um, we're using too much power, so I need to take this out of stealth mode. I need, I need, uh, I need full power, please. We could, we could die here. We could very easily die here for the second time. Uh, I just need to get a jump solution, please. I mean, they aren't hitting me that much, so, you know, that wasn't too bad. Uh, and that was my fault I didn't have this MFD back to where it needed to be, but I needed to track my EM and IR, and it seems like they were... Like 10,000 kilometers, they were on me, which feels like the sort of normal targeting for any ship. I, d I really, I, I don't know, I don't know what's happening with self right now. That is my conclusion. I, what I've talked through worked in previous patches. So I would love uh, anyone watching this video, comment, uh, help us, help us out, help me out, help, you know, um, everyone else watching this video to give us a bit of insight as where stealth's at because uh, I can't find any clear comments on it anywhere. Some people say it, stealth never went away. Some people say it's gone and it isn't working. And as far as I'm concerned, it isn't working. We, we should not be getting targeted 9,000, 8,000, you know, 10,000 meters away. We just, that should not happen. Sorry, uh, this needs to be shields, right? Um, so... And if we have to, like, use one of our torpedoes to get the hammerhead to deploy its uh, decoy, these aren't cheap. There's <laughs> my corpse over there. You know, these these uh, torpedoes aren't cheap. The way that I used to run the Eclipse was if you, did, if you had a missed shot with your torpedo, that... That stung. You know, that hit into your profit mar margins. You know, you're, you're a space sniper. Um, that really stung. So you, you went through all the mechanics and all the stuff we've talked about to get your IR and EM down. You went to that effort. You took that risk. You stealthed into the belt to get 5,000 meters away, 6,000 meters. Or if you're ballsy, 4,000 meters or 3,000 meters away. So your torpedo had less time to travel and the enemy had less time to react. But now if I have to... If I have to deploy... Um torpedoes in a dogfighting situation the way you would launch missiles 
uh, I ain't gonna work because <laughs> they're they're the size nine torpedoes are massive, which I'm gonna show you in a second when we rearm here. They are humongous. Um, so I'm I'm kind of lost now. I don't know what to advise you guys. Uh, should you drop 3.5 mil? Stay. Landing's not complete, mate. <laughs> we haven't even called in a landing yet. But should you should you drop 3.5 mil in this ship? Well, let me put this way: if you already have this ship, do not despair, um, because it will it will find its place again. I'm glad I bought this ship, um, because I know you know it will find its place again. Ironically, there'll be a wipe and I'll lose it again because I bought this within game credits. But the, hey ho, there you go. Um, but if you're thinking about buying the ship, it's one big attraction. Its main focus to assign landing bay. is stealth blasting targets. That's its point. That's why it has three torpedoes only. It's it's in one shot, one kill uh, from another popular title. That's its purpose. It's not meant to dogfight in, barrel roll around, launch a torpedo a pace, get a kill, and then zip out again. That's not what it's meant to do. So, I'm a little bit confused right now. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, I'd have to recommend don't buy the ship right now. If you have it, don't despair. It's time will come. But if you're, if you're looking to buy it, hold off. It's 3.5 3. million. Stay. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you for a pleasant stay. Why am I getting out of the ship? I'm completely lost this evening in this video. Don't buy the ship. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait till I do another video on it. Uh, or in the comments, you know, someone let us know. Uh, get in touch with me. Yeah, maybe we can meet up in game and show me what I'm doing wrong with this ship. But my previous understanding of stealth is completely out the window because this isn't working. Now, this feels cheaper to restock at 10k. That feels cheaper. So, if this worked, three missiles, uh, if you get your rep up, your ERTs pay out about 30 to 35 grand. So, you do three of them, that's nearly 100,000. You technically could do those in five to 10 minutes if everything was working. Stealth in, pop, leave, stealth and pop, leave, ignore, ignore the other fighters and uh, escort vehicles. Uh, and it only costs you 10k in expenses, so you're making 90,000 in 10 and 15 minutes. That's pretty good uh, turnaround in terms of money. Uh, in terms of money, you're not dogfighting in the ship. To be fair, it's not what it's designed for. Um, it really isn't. It just isn't designed to do that. Um, we'll give this one more shot, but I would avoid this ship for now. I really would. I'm sorry to say it because it is absolutely beautiful. But unless we can find a way to make the stealth mechanics worse or, or work, <laughs> I've got very negative words in my head right now. If we can't make stealth mechanics work, prettiness alone is not enough to justify 3.5 million on this. I am sorry. Thank you. And please visit again. But let's give it one more go. Can we kill the hammerhead? with a fluky <laughs> torpedo. Uh, I'm gonna forget stealth, completely forgetting it. I'm gonna get in within 1,000 meters and try and pop this uh, this thing from range, or from close range. So we're, we're, we're going in with a, <laughs> a very aggressive stealth ship gameplay mechanic. Maybe if this, this works, we could still make those numbers. Well, I don't know. You don't want to upgrade the missiles. When I was looking at the missiles, they shoot a uh, minimum or no closer than 2,000 meters. So we actually keep the stock because these let you go right up to 1,000. Uh, and there's my corpse on screen, just reminding me of when we, we blew up earlier. I am disappointed, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to argue. The, the, this ship, uh, that stealth mechanic was so cool. It was very niche. People didn't really like it too much. Uh, or certain people didn't. I love this whole stealth thing. I thought it was so cool. Um, popping people before they can see you. So what I'm going to do, I want to give this a fair, the ship a fair run. I want to make another video where I get someone to help me and see 
if it's just the NPCs cheating almost that they're not recognizing the stealth mechanic. Um, you know, can uh, a mate see me and target me at those ranges at, at 8,000 kilometers or so? Um, so we'll do that. We'll give this ship a fair shout. But at the minute, hold on to your money. Wait till I do some more tests. Wait till we hear some more people in the community. Uh, if you find other content creators that have covered this topic and come up with different conclusions, let me know. Send me a message and uh, we'll review those videos. But at the minute, as it stands, the Eclipse is in a bit of trouble in finding its purpose in the verse. Wait for it. Get as close as we can. Get as close as we can. Four, three, two, fire. Ha! <laughs> Are you absolutely kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that the tactic? Uh, it was 25,000 because I haven't got my rep up in Microtech. So normally if you get your rep up, you're getting 33. Uh, and I've just smashed into the ground because I, I thought I was flying into space. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, everyone, welcome to this video on the eclipse. <laughs> Here's a... Uh... <laughs> Here's the actual tactic. Uh, in your stealth bomber, you're going to ignore all concept of stealth. You're going to be doing ERT bounty missions, and at base reputation, you're going to earn 25,000 per kill. Um, you have three torpedoes. You want to try and kill three hammerheads. That's three ERTs. At base reputation, a 75,000 AUEC. Your restocking will cost you about 10,000. It's a profit of 65,000 over the course of 15 minutes or so. Do not do it in Microtech. Do it in the Crusader space. You're going to fly at their hammerhead as fast as humanly possible with a missile lock coming in at the last minute. You're going to release your torpedo. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this again. You're going to release your torpedo at 1,100 meters off its face. So it doesn't have time to deploy countermeasures. If we miss with our torpedoes, we're cutting into our profits. When your, prof when your reputation is up on your bounties, uh, you'll get 30 to 35,000. Uh, and with the cost of the torps over three hammerhead, three ERT missions, you can be making uh, around 90,000, which is a good chunk of money in about 15, 20 minutes. Again, don't do it in Microtech. Try to avoid the atmospheric fights. Click on your missile, get a target lock, and head straight for this hammerhead. But don't smash into the ground like I did. I'm just putting power to engines so we can bank up after this strike. This is an aggressive uh, bomber display we're doing here. It's not stealth. I can't get stealth to work. This is the tactic. Let's see how it goes. So we're 4,000 meters off the deck. You gotta hold your nerve when you're doing this. You've got to hold, and you can't fire the torpedo too quickly. And because what will happen, you need to slow down just off the nose. What will happen is it'll, it'll, it could hit your ship and then you're dead. So we need to get closer. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now fire. The torpedo did not hit. So we've lost a torpedo. So we need to get out a little bit. I don't know what happened there. Maybe we fired it a little bit too. Um, come on, come on. Target lock, target lock, target lock. And then we're going to try it again. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Get a bit closer, get a bit closer. Watch our shields and fire. <laughs> Watch the deck. Watch the deck. I got to say, it's not a self concept, but that was a lot of fun. So we lost a torpedo there. I think I fired it too late and it actually didn't lock on. That was my bad. I think that tactic is sound. Oh, and what have we got? We've got a Valkyrie, probably two Valkyries. Oh, I'm getting the comms thing, yeah. So I'll just to show you why I probably wouldn't enjoy dogfighting with a ship, but uh, we'll see. So power to engines, close the gap, power back to weapons, even though we've got plenty of rounds. Let's just see what dogfighting's like. Uh, we're getting hit. Yeah, they're, they're mincing our shields. All right, well, I'm not going to dogfight. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, fair play if you want to dogfight in it, but we've made our money. Uh, off we go. 
we would go then and pick up a, another ERT mission. There's another one. We'd click it. Uh, we've only got one more torp, so we would need to make that count. And uh, we would quantum. So that's, that's the gameplay <laughs> with the Eclipse. That's what I'd advise doing with it. It's going to make your heart pound uh, flying it in that way. Uh, I'll tell you that much. But wow, it still is an absolutely amazing ship. And although if you've watched the full episode and not jumped to this end bit, you'll see that I really wish the stealth mechanics worked because they did work. Those IREM things did work. But rest assured, I was a wee bit doomy and gloomy <laughs> near the middle to end of the video. But discovering this aggressive torp strategy, um, you can <laughs> one-shot uh, hammerheads uh, very quickly. I'm going to skip to the last kill here as I black out and just see if we can do it one more time with our remaining torpedo. Okay, I want to show you this before we do the final kill here. Look what happens when you open up your torpedoes. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my god, that is so awesome. I, see, that's I love the ship. I love the ship. Look at it. The feckin' torpedo bay doors open. Like, look at that. I'm just slowing the ship down in case we ruin this last, uh, last kill. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. Okay, so recap. Powered engines. <laughs> That's all you need is engines. Because you're going to get the hell out of here if this works or doesn't. Thank you very much. Um, if we... Engines. Powered engines. Get your lock on. Don't fire from this range. The torpedo's going to drop on that mo. Maybe in space you could fire it a bit earlier, but I'm going to wait to the last possible second. Well, add a few seconds on, because we fired it too late on that uh, last mission. So we wasted a torpedo. I'm going to bring my speed limiter down. And remember, you don't want to fire it at full speed because you could it could smack into you and it, it doesn't launch quick enough and blows you up. We can take a few hits deploying decoys. Don't distract me. I need to focus here. All right, so slowing down using afterburner. Six, five, four, three, two. Launching. That's too early. I've, I've wasted it. Have I? Oh, you dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty launch decoys. No. He launched decoys. I hate you, Albert. <laughs> I hate you. We're using the ultimate torpedo. Size 12. Engage. Ultimate torpedo mode. Be gone. And I missed. <laughs> I missed the ultimate torpedo. Ultimate torpedo round two. Ultimate torpedo round two. I can't even hit with the... <laughs> you fucking kidding me. Stop dodging out of the way. I want to use a size 12 torpedo. Arr! <laughs> I think they just shot us. I don't need... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, in summary. Um, <laughs> this has been the funnest and most frustrating video to make, but I really hope you've enjoyed watching. The summary is don't put the don't don't put the eclipse down there is a tactic there with aggressive late deployment uh, uh torpedo launching um you could probably do it in space a, a bit later maybe 2000 meters but it's if he deploys that noise you know you're absolutely snookered so don't rule out the eclipse if you're thinking of buying it wait until stealth is fixed because you won't need to do all that mess you will launch that torpedo from 4,000 meters away without being targeted, and they won't even know what's hit them. The, uh, hammerheads, uh, the hammerheads will pop left, right, and center for you, and you'll be earning some sweet dough and feeling really like a space sniper um, in doing uh, in doing that. The, the uh, uh, cost to reload, 10,000 or so, all three torpedoes, is, is very good. It used to be a lot more expensive, if I remember it correctly. I think it was 18, 20. Um, but yeah, that's the summary. If you've got one, don't despair. There's a tactic there. If anything, it's, it's going to give you a bit of a sweat on and make your blood pressure go up if you're like me. 
Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. The jury's out um, on stealth at the minute, but the eclipse, I think it has its place. And when they fix stealth, it absolutely will. Hold fire on buying it. Uh, but if you already have one, try out that tactic. Let me know how you get on. And if anyone has uh, any info on making stealth work, something that I was doing wrong here, or something that you know that works better, please let us know in the comments, and I'll get a video on that, and we'll share that news far and wide. My name is Brew Crick. Uh, you can call me Brew. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, and I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.